Hi guys, it's Hillary and I'm here in my studio in Los Angeles. It is Friday, I'm taking off my shoes, I just got here. And it is time for some teacher space and I wanted to hit the chair today before my client gets here. Um, and look at the push-up. So we've looked at the like be all ending push-up here, but I wanted to look at the, hi Tracy, I wanted to look at the push-up with the hand on the chair because I think this is a really good one to kind of find that counter rotation, to find that stability as well as the work and mobility. So it's a really good one. But I think what's really important with this one is the setup. So I think a lot of times we just get someone in position or we get in position and we end up like going off into space and it's really about going right down into the chair. And so I kind of wanted to just go over that a little bit with you guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have it on. Let's see how this is for me today. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it there. But you know, whatever spring you usually do for this one with the hand on the pedal, the hand on the chair. I've got it a little um, supportive today. So anyway, what we're doing is we're having this arm on the pedal, right, and this arm on your bench. But if I just come and both arms are straight, you can see my shoulders are off. They're not even, right? So in reality, this arm is never going to straighten. So I'm pretty much going to be pushing up the whole time. And then from there, it will go down, but this arm will stay straight because it will have that pedal. So that's the first thing. The other thing is I like to have people stand, and if you have tips on this, love to hear, where the edge of the chair just runs right down their midline. And then I know that they're going to be directly there. I also have them stand close to the bench and not way back so that their chest is going to be directly over the bench. And then they're just going to place their hands and kind of figure out if I'm doing a push up, is this where my hands are? Where are they? Let them kind of figure that out. And then to go ahead and bend that arm that's on the bench to where their shoulders like they're on the floor. Right? And then from there they're going to walk out, but what I don't want them to do is push their chest back when they walk out. I want it to stay right where it is. And then they're just going to walk their legs out so then they're in their push-up position and they're right over the chair. And then from there we'll bend that elbow on the chair to go down and push back up, but never too straight. And so this arm is just pushing the pedal down and continuing to push it as I come back up. So I'm not like going out over the chair, I'm going straight down and back up and then they walk it back in. And then, let's see, I hate to show you the back view, but just so you can kind of see, I'll do the best I can. So what's happening is we have this kind of work for the body of, of staying straight in that chair, right? So that counter rotation is coming into effect. So the hips and the, the chest staying square to the bench. So let's go this way. See how this view is. Sorry about the back view, but I just want you to kind of see, and I'll kind of like struggle a bit. This is my tighter side. So again, I'm gonna find that position, walk those legs out, so again, I'm thinking of the legs together or apart, whatever works for them. This is bent and I'm just gonna press down and back up. So I'm watching that this doesn't happen, that I don't kind of go like this. Everything stays straight and back up. And I'm only going where I don't kind of go so low that that kind of shifts there, right? So anyway, that's, Kind of a look at the one on the chair which I really love because it's it is challenging not so much challenging in terms of like pushing up our whole body weight on the floor in terms of all the way to the floor and back but it's really getting that kind of connection of the whole body to stay hips chest square because you're kind of off right so it's one I really love um, maybe next week we'll look at the one on the floor with one hand on the pedal, one on the floor, because that one's fun too. But anyway, that was the push-up, one hand on the chair, and uh, try it, see what you think. And uh, play with that weight. You want a lot of support. You want to really be able to push and have something to fire back into that side that's not getting this fire back. So that's important. You don't want a light, light spring. 
gives you nothing in there. But anyway, enjoy your weekend, and I will see you next week.